All right, this morning we're going to make a marinade for our shish kebab. This is an old recipe that my mother, myself, my father actually developed through the years, and it's pretty tasty. It's savory yet it's sweet. So the natural sugars in this marinade actually are going to kind of caramelize once they're on the grill. And I highly recommend that you use charcoal, not the gas grill. I know a lot of people probably invested in gas grills, and so making the switch over could be costly. But in the future, when the gas grill dies, check out a Weber or a smoker with, uh, that uses charcoal. Uh, the flavor is intense, and it's, you can tell right away. If I give you something with uh, a steak or anything grilled with uh, charcoal flavor compared to the gas grill flavor, there, you'll, you'll, you'll know it, even though you're not an aficionado. So. So for the marinade, really easy. You want to take a pot something like this, and you want to fill it about a third with water, and that's going to be a base. And then you want to add a little sweetener to it. So you can, and this is to flavor once again, so you can taste it and see how it tastes. But I'm going to use some brown sugar, and you're probably going to use a fair amount of that, about a cup and a half. And uh, then you want to make it a little savory. So you're going to add some onion powder. Onion powder really works well. You can throw onions in there, but it's not going to give it the same flavor. Maple syrup that's going to give an intense little flavor. It's kind of pricey, so if you don't use it, just stick with the brown sugar, that's fine. Fresh cracked pepper. Don't use the stuff that you shake out of the shaker. It's not even close. And then you want to use some mushroom sauce. Mushroom soy sauce, if you don't like that, regular soy sauce is fine. Tamari, maybe Worcestershire sauce, they're all in the same category, slightly different flavors. So that's your preference once again. So uh, as far as that goes, you're going to use probably about mm, cup of that actually and once again try it to flavor it depends on how big your pot is but something this size you're going to use about a cup and just stick your finger in and taste it out um, here's another little secret it's a condiment I use it in quite a few things is the toasted sesame oil this gives an amazing flavor it has to be toasted though not regular sesame oil it's a condiment you don't cook with it and then here's the little secret pickling spice it's made by McCormick. They're the only ones that I know that actually makes it. You can make it yourself, and I'm planning on doing that actually because it's kind of pricey to get this little thing. You just want to mix all the spices together, make your own pickling spice, be a lot cheaper. And then herbs from the garden. Well, I'm going to try with some lemon balm. I've done that before. And some orange mint and some uh, oregano over here, which is actually, this is a lighter variety. It gives it a really nice flavor. And then some hot peppers from the garden, Portuguese hot pepper. I'm going to chop it up roughly and then throw that in as well. And if you can do this overnight, it works really best. The flavor is going to melt a lot better. You can, <laughs> you can do it for a few hours, but it's just not going to do it any justice. The meat that I'm using, once again, is chuck. And uh, chuck steak is really inexpensive, and it works perfectly. So I got this for $2.50 a pound, not even on sale. You want to put it on skewers close like this. Um, once again, I used to use um, sirloin strip, and uh, sirloin strip is expensive. It's about $9 a pound these days. So something that you don't really need to do because this is marbled well, the chuck. You want to cut it. Once you get the, the chuck, you take the strings off and you cut it against the grain so they're like steaks, and then you just chop those up into pieces. It's going to work really nicely for you. So here we are. We're on the, on the skewer. We're going to make many of those, put that on with our marinade, let it marinate for overnight if you can. It really works well. And try a combination of these flavors. You know, put your finger in it, put a little teaspoon in it before you put the meat in it, of course, because it's raw meat. And then see if it's sweet enough and savory enough. If you want to, add some sea salt. And here's another little thing if you want. Add some meat tenderizer. It's a natural substance. It's papin from the papaya, and it helps to tenderize the meat even more. That you want to probably put about uh, two, three tablespoons of it. But be careful, it's really salty. It's not just a meat tenderizer. In fact, I think it's saltier than salt. So uh, if you put that in, just be careful. But then again, this is a marinade, so it can be over the top in flavors. It doesn't have to be sublime or subtle. And one more thing you want to add. Okay, this is going to add really nice flavor. something in my fridge lime juice it's going to add almost a Cuban flair to it and a lot of people will say I taste citrus in that and that's what it's going to be but this is the flavor once again don't put too much it can be overpowering you could probably put a couple of tablespoons of that in a pot this size okay so off to the grill we're going to cook this up with some grilled veggies Okay, folks, 
So we've got our shish kebab going over here very nicely on the skewers. It's been marinating for several hours, uh, about six, seven, eight hours. And um, I put some of the uh, herbs in between actually so that they can kind of infuse as we're cooking them on the skewers. So that's ready to go. That's our chuck over here and it's going to be nice and tender. I'm going to put some grilled vegetables on there too. And uh, one of the things I want to put on is the sweet bell peppers. That tastes fantastic when you throw it on the grill. Just like that. You don't have to add anything to it. So we're just going to put them in nice little strips over here. <coughs> I should have a bigger knife. This is kind of pathetic. Uh, anyway, so we have, oh, and don't forget, we have our eggplant. Uh, I uh, like eggplant on the grill. You put it with uh, just some olive oil and a little bit of sea salt, coarse sea salt, fresh, cr fresh uh, cracked pepper, if I can say it right. And we're going to quarter some Vidalia onions. And that I'm going to put into a basket. So I used to put them on a skewer, but they kind of fall off. And that's nice stuff. I've got a grilling basket. These have been uh, made readily available the past few years, and boy, are they nice. So I'm going to throw that on the grill with mushrooms and a champignon. You can't forget that. This is going to be a great piece. So uh, this is really easy summertime cooking. Grilling vegetables, so easy to do. You're not dirtying up a pan. Well, with the exception of this, but no big deal. And we're going to throw those on the grill. Inexpensive cut of meat. Uh, once again, we're not using the $9 cuts like the sirloin strips or uh, anything more expensive than that. I'm using $2.50 chuck. I just quartered it up and marinated it for um, uh, multiple hours, in a day, overnight, doesn't matter. So we're gonna go grill and let's see how this uh, turns out.